satisfy your need for happiness through your own curiosity with the Ranveer Show. Let's speak about James Anderson. <laughs> you captained him. Mm-hmm. It's strange for me as a 30-year-old cricket fan to say that he's one of my earliest cricket memories and he's still playing. <laughs> so, was there something special in him back then? Did you know that this guy's going to keep playing? Oh, no, not absolutely not. When he first started, he, he had that, I think he had blue hair. Then he turned <laughs> it to red. It might have been white at a time. And he bowled these big booming outswingers. You know, he didn't even look at the batter when he was bowling. Look at his, his action. He kind of dropped his head and he built these big, big outswingers to the right-hander. Um, then he got an injury and then he was out of the side. He, he wasn't a part of the 05 team. And then 2006, he didn't play. And then we went to New Zealand and we got him and Broad into the side. They just, uh, I, I never, ever felt that either of them were going to go to the the levels that they've achieved. It's remarkable. The longevity that they they have given the game and um, you know, waking up as a batter every morning is hard. But waking up as a bowler, you imagine what the body's I mean, well, I'll have a look at his Jimmy. He can't, he can't like being at home because <laughs> always he always been. wants to play cricket. And he said something actually, um, which I saw last week, which I, I think it's exactly the message that all kids have got to understand. He said to to be a cricketer, you've got to love fielding. So when he first started playing the game, I think it was at Burnley, Burnley Cricket Club. He was just the fielder diving at square leg. He loves fielding. And again, I I I I, I didn't like fielding. I couldn't catch. So I was always worried in the field in case I dropped a ball and, you know, it was going to affect the team and the outcome of the match. And it's easy for those that are naturally gifted at fielding, you know, it's easy for them because they take catches and they're not worried about that. But someone that's actually is concerned about fielding because you might drop the ball that loses your team the match. You know, a lot of anxiety creeps in. You, you, I used to worry more about fielding than batting or, or bowling a couple of overs because I thought, oh God, I just can't catch. And if I drop that ball, that's the game over. I'm going to look mm. an absolute idiot. So that message by Jimmy was, was a perfect message for me. For all kids that are starting out, be good at fielding. Because if you're really good at fielding and you enjoy fielding, but it's, it's the one skill that you do more than any, 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 any of the others. So you might as well get good at fielding and it'll give you that longevity. I mean, you're seeing players now that uh, are playing longer than ever. They're fitter. They actually eat the right thing. I don't think they drink consistently. <laughs> Anyone knew <laughs> what was being drank in the old days, but I wouldn't change that. I loved it. Um, you know, this is opportunity now for, a, a, I guess, a playing career. My day. If, you, if, you, if you've got 12 years out of your playing career, you've done well. I genuinely think these days there's a 20-year career there for the players if they look after themselves, uh, do the right thing, but you've got to be good at fielding. If you enjoyed today's clip, make sure you check out these curated playlists that we've made especially for you related to the subject that was spoken about in this clip.